Another modification of a Z-plasty is a five-flap Z-plasty, which is also called as a jumping man flap. This modification is quite commonly asked in examinations and in viva. This five-flap Z-plasty actually consists of a central VY advancement flap along with two lateral Z-plasties. So to mark this Z-plasty, first the central limb, which is the scar, that is the contracture diagonal, is marked. Now the angle setter used can be of various degrees which is used in an unequal Z-plasty depending on the amount of length and the tissue that is available. But uh, certain books describe this angle as 75 degree and the angle that will be formed by VY as 60 degree. So first the central limb is marked and at 75 degrees on either side the other limbs are marked which are equal to that of the scar. Now. These will form the Z-plasties. The central VY limb is marked like this and this angle is considered to be 60 degrees. Now certain books also describe that these two angles that will be formed will also be 60 degrees but again these angles can be modified. Hence the two Z's that we have are formed in this manner by A and C and by B and E on either side of the central VY which is D. Now after release what will happen is that these flaps will move in this manner. So it is easy to see how these flap moves if you remember that this central VY will move in this manner that is D. So first D will move centrally then these two flaps that is C and A will move into position and these two flaps that are B and E will again move into position. So D first comes and moves centrally giving an increase in the length and these two flaps C and A and B and E on either side are formed by the release of the Z. This flap that is jumping man flap is conventionally been described for release of the scars that are along the thumb web and hence they are commonly asked in the examination.